For projects 10 through 16, we're going to demonstrate different color combinations for the lights of the light tunnel. Unlike project 4, in which all the lights came on and off in different patterns producing a light show, they are going to be on steadily for these projects. And for project 10, we will have all three colors of lights come on at once. So the tunnel effect is all three different colors. And then for project 11, we are going to remove the three snap wires in the middle and on the right. And now we have just one three snap wire connecting point R on the light tunnel and the tunnel is only red. For project 12, we will switch, move the three snap wire over to the center position and then only the green lights come on. For project 13, we will move the three snap wire over to the right and now we have only blue lights. The tunnel is blue. For number 14, we will move the three snap wire back to the center position and then put another one on the R location. And now the tunnel is red and green. Christmas colors, I would say. And you can gently press it on the center of the tunnel and you'll see that the pattern bends inward as if the end of the tunnel is closing up on itself. For number 15, we will move the center three snap wire over to the right and now we have a red and blue light tunnel. Kind of patriotic for Memorial Day or 4th of July even though we're missing light. And the, light, the blue LEDs may look white in the, with the red ones on to the camera. And for 16, we will move the left three snap wire to the center position, the G position. And now we have green and blue lights on. The red ones remain off. And so just to go over the positions, this is R, which is red, this is G, which is green, and then this is B for blue. Project 17, 3D Illumination, will be the first three-dimensional project in this kit. I built it here using the main base grid plus two other base grids which are connected right here. It is very important to read the instructions carefully, and I will quickly show you how 3D projects are built in this kit. Here's the basic diagram, which shows the different parts and where they are placed on each board. The drawing looks complex because it shows assembly of a three-dimensional structure. Now, these red pieces are the same. They're just mounted so that they stand up. And here are the instructions on how to assemble the three-dimensional circuit. You, in this case, we would for the base grids, by the way, are labeled, are lettered. So the main base grid is A, this base grid is B, and this base grid is C. We begin with the main base grid putting the supports for the other two grids on and then putting the parts on base grid B and attaching it to grid A. The next step would be putting the parts on grid C, except in this case for this vertical snap wire, which is already attached to B, and this two snap wire that will connect it will put it on once you attach grid C to grid A. And then you will finish the connection and by using one of these stabilizers to hold the grids together then you will insert the remaining
parts onto grid A. The fifth step involves inserting the mirror, which is on a spring. You will attach the spring to the support and then put the mirror in. Now, mounting the mirror on the circuit can be tricky, but it goes like this, and you have to mount it at a, like maybe a 45 degree angle. You can always adjust it if you need to. We also have to put the attachment onto the phototransistor, which is here, so to keep background light from activating the phototransistor. And you will see how this circuit works when I turn on the slide switch. We have a loud horn, the color LED and tunnel, lights flash. It's very loud, so I'm not going to have it on long. The white LED is on. Now when I turn off the slide switch, the horn stop. Everything stops. But I'll show you another thing. I'm going to put my hand here, and the horn stops even though the LEDs remain on. That's because the horn is being controlled by the phototransistor. When there's light on the phototransistor, the horn will sound. When there's not, then the horn will not. If I remove the cover from the phototransistor, then it's possible that background light may activate it, but that's not always the case, like it doesn't right now, but it could. There it goes again, and if you want, I am not going to do it for this circuit, but you can swap the locations of the white and color LEDs. But it's possible that the color LED may not be powerful enough. The mirror is reflecting the light from the white LED so that it enters the phototransistor and sounds the alarm. And the color LED may not be as bright. So I'm not going to try it even though you can if you were experimenting on your own. If you still don't understand these instructions with how to assemble, this 3D circuit, or any of them, you can go to the website, snapcircuits.net, SC3DI, for an interactive 3D picture to help with building the circuit. Because you might have a better idea with how the parts are connected. Project 18 is 3DI fun. Like Project 17, this requires using multiple base grids to construct, and although I am not going to show you them for this project, here are the instructions, so actually you can quickly glimpse at them. I'm sorry for the dark environment, but for this project it's recommended that you demonstrate it in a dark room. But after inserting all the parts, you will have this circuit and it also includes, it might be hard to see, but you have the projector, the mirror, and then also the attachment on the phototransistor. Now I am going to take this circuit over to the wall and when I and turn it on. Now be aware that this might be loud, so please turn down your volume. I have to hold the mirror, but what happens is that the mirror is reflecting the light from the color LED onto the phototransistor, which will trigger the horn. The reason why the horn sounds weird is because the color LED is controlling the current. It's not on steadily. It changes brightness and color and flashes too, so the sound is not going to be steady. I have to hold the mirror in place because the spring is not very cooperative. So the mirror will not be aligned properly if I let go of it. I'm just going to let it go down like that. But when I point the circuit at the wall and the projector 
shows an image. I can cycle through all of them. I demonstrated the images before. Of course, the light tunnel and color LED remain on whenever the switch is on. And so there you have it for Snap Circuit's 3DI Fun. 19 is overhead light. This project is another 3D one, and we will be using three of the small base grids in addition to the main one. This project is relatively simple, and it is not as hard to assemble, but it's very important that when you read the instructions and look at the diagram, you look at the instructions that tell you which direction the pegs face. Example, the pegs of base grids B and D face in. And then for base grid C, the pegs face down. And here we have the white LED mounted. And we will turn on the slide switch and the white LED turns on. This acts like an overhead light that you might find in a room in your house. Turn it off. LEDs are becoming more popular in room lighting because they're more efficient than other types of light bulbs like incandescent and CFL ones.